This is a demonstration of how to calibrate the B&O 055 breakout board made by Adafruit. What I'm going to demonstrate is how to calibrate it so it works and gives you magnetic directions similar to a compass. I'm going to demonstrate you using a needle that points north like the compass and if you notice at the top of the screen a little bit off to the left is magnetic north. I will start up the demonstration and the sensor is uncalibrated and it doesn't point north which is a problem. I will turn it see what happens. And you notice the needle goes a little wacky, goes the other direction. What's happening is it is trying to calibrate itself, but it can cause problems if you're trying to find magnetic north. Okay, so what we're going to do is to calibrate. Got a routine built in. What it's going to do is give me eight numbers below, which are our, our calibration values. And how we're going to calibrate it, the uh, data sheet says to twirl it around in figure eights. Uh, I prefer to turn it around each axis. Now, both will do the same thing, and if you have good technique, you can do figure eights. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it around each of the three axes, axes, allowing it to find the minimum and maximum values so it can properly calibrate. And we'll turn it this way. notice we have some numbers here, should be eight of them, and I am going to save these values so that next time it starts, it will load these values to the sensor. And of course, no, it does point in the north direction, pretty close to my compass. If you don't think that's good enough, you can, of course, recalibrate until you get results that you do like. And let's see what happens now. I think we got a pretty good calibration. Okay, let's, now let's turn it around to see that it's consistent in each direction. And sometimes it won't be totally linear, but you'll notice that the arrow points north, in whatever direction we face it. If we power it off, start it back up again, it's going to load those values back in, pick up right where it left off. Perfect. Let's give a little twist. Make sure it's working right. Perfect. One more try. So, I wanted to demonstrate that this can be done. You can turn it on, you get instant results, uh, and have the sensor give you proper magnetic direction. Well, 
I'm also going to talk a little bit about why we calibrate the the uh, magnetometer. Uh, the sensor also has an accelerometer and a gyro in it, which the factory calibration is pretty good, and there is not a lot of things that will cause error to that calibration, like the magnetometer. Uh, to demonstrate with with the compass, uh, a lot of times we have metal things in our project, and of course that will. Give us error. Uh, it's like magnets. Magnets really give us a lot of error. And even white uh, current flowing through wires produces a magnetic field and will or could affect the magnetometer. If we take a look at, let's say, the things that may be in real close proximity to your sensor, like, oh, say one of these, notice all these little traces with wires and probably causes a little bit of magnetic interference. We have metal things. We sometimes put metal standoffs to our modern projects, screws into the cases and such. Uh, sometimes we like to put things like motors on our projects. Yeah, they cause all kinds of problems. When you calibrate it, what it does is it takes all of that into account, more or less ignores it, so that it can find magnetic north. The other thing that happens is Depending on where you are, the face of the earth, the magnetic field is a little different. Where I live, if you look at the raw values of the magnetometer, it'll say north is north, but it's into the ground. So the plane of our magnetic field is one direction, and the horizon is a different direction. So sometimes this will cause your east-west values to not show right. And when it's uncalibrated, it'll show east and west in a northeast direction and a northwest direction. So by calibrating, it does take care of those problems. It gives you accurate magnetic direction. Uh, what I'm using here for a test rig is the Adafruit on Adafruit, this is an Arduino Mega. But I am using an Adafruit Power Boost Shield with an Adafruit battery. And for display, I'm using a capacitive touch TFT shield, very nice shield. And of course, the Adafruit breakout board for the BNO 055. Uh, I made a little mini shield. I 3D printed that and attached it to the front of this uh, this board or back of this board, however you want to look at it. Uh, if you don't have a 3D printer, you could use something like Perf Board. I made a lot of shields out of these and uh, super glue some headers and then connect your wires to it. The other little thing, if you want to make a board like this, Adafruit has all the uh, libraries and excellent tutorials on how to use all these. I recommend you read each one for each device. This is connected just uh, like the tutorial uh, says for the uh, to connect it to a mega. The TFT shield, you're going to have to do some modification to. You're going to have to cut three jumpers. You're going to have to solder three jumpers. Because it uses this little six-pin header. You can see it here. And then the Mega, it's... It is also on the Mega. You can connect to the TFT to make it work. But unfortunately, the board I have in between it, the shield I have in between it, the uh, power boost 
doesn't have that header. So what I had to do is to find out where those holes should be, drill six holes. Uh, this did include the header, but not the holes. So you have to drill holes in there in order for this to connect through. If you can see it, get the light in there uh, to pass through the power boost shield. Uh, there's no traces or anything in this area, so you could drill away, it doesn't beat it. And that concludes my demonstration of how to calibrate magnetic calibration of the BNO 055 sensor. I will include my sketch. And I am going to include a modified version of the Adafruit library for this sensor because the library doesn't have calibration functions in it, so I added it to it. So this sketch will not work without the modified library. Uh, the sketch is probably a little bit elaborate, but I happen to have a project that looks real similar to this except it has uh, a GPS in it that does a whole bunch of other things. See, so it has a little North Arrow on it too. Uh, so I had the sketch more or less written. I just pulled things out of it and uh, created a sketch for this demonstration. Feel free to use the bits and parts. I've got some uh, you'll see how I did the animation of the North Arrow, I've got some menu screens, things like that in there too, so feel free to use what you like and uh, go forth and create some cool projects. Thank you.